Hello, everyone. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Jesus Christ, Son of the Most High God. Yes, I hope you all have a lovely day and is having a lovely day for the time difference. Yes. So, the Lord God show me this scripture either day before yesterday or yesterday i was reading it i'm not sure about one of those days i was reading it recently and when i reach the part where god was talking about he heard the cry of his people that definitely spoke to me like God is saying that right now for his people. And it's in Exodus chapter 3 verse 7 to 9. I will read it shortly. And now I hear it again from someone so it's like a confirmation like god really want me to talk about this so i'm like okay lord i'm gonna talk about it because you have to obey god obey is better than sacrifice so from you get a confirmation that the lord god wants you to do something or say something just do it and say it okay yes just do it and done <laughs> yes so Yes, so Exodus chapter 3, verse 7 to 9. Just a part I'm going to read. It says, And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters. For I know their sorrows, and I am come down to deliver them out of the hands of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of the land unto a good land, and a large unto a land flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Canaanites and the Ittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites. Now therefore behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me. And I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppress them. My God. I'm telling you, these things are so sad that God people, God's people, Israel, those who believe in the Lord God, Jesus Christ and his Holy Spirit, some of us is going through oppression and affliction. Some of God's people is going through oppression and affliction. And God is telling me to tell you all that is watching this and hearing this. And I hope you all hearing these words that I'm telling you, that I'm speaking unto you, that the Lord God will deliver you. He heard your cry. He, he hear it. He hear your prayers. He hear your cry. He seen your affliction. He seen all the troubles, the trial, the tribulation, the problems, the struggles, everything that you're going through. He said, he's seen it. He's seen your cry. He's seen your affliction. He's seen every bad thing. Your oppression that you're going through. You are going through oppression and he see it. God said, he see it. And he will deliver you and take you out of Egypt, which is out of the bad place, out of the bad circumstances, away from the bad people, away from the evil people that is trying to ruin your life. God is taking you away from them and out of those places that are not good to you. The situation that is not good to you, God is removing you from those situations and removing those situations from you okay so that's what the lord god want me to tell you all yes 
So God is telling Moses to go and deliver his people, Israel, from Egypt, from Pharaoh, the wicked ruler that was in Egypt. So God is going to send his angels to rescue us, rescue you all, rescue every one of his people that is going through oppression and who is crying and going through trial, tribulation, problems, and all types of bad things that God's people are going through. Struggles. I'm hearing struggles. Um is going through struggles. God is delivering you from it. God will deliver you from it. He's sending his servants, his workers to carry you out of that wilderness and put you in a land flowing with milk and honey. That means he will take you out of your struggle, take you out of your pain, your hurt, your tears. He will put you uh, uh, in joy, in a joyful situation, give you joy. He will work out everything for you and the angels of the Lord their God will deliver the Lord's work. They will do God's work in answering the, the 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 prayers of God's servants yes they 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 have been sent out to answer prayers of God's people okay and to wipe away your tears God hear your tears so yes like what the Lord God said weeping may endure for a night but joy coming in the morning true that is so true that's gonna happen to you of those who are crying you shall come out of affliction right now in Jesus Christ's name. No more oppression upon you right, right now and for the rest of your life. You shall not be in oppression anymore. For those who are in, in oppression, you shall not be in oppression anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. And those who are in affliction, you shall not be in affliction anymore in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. So no more, no more, no more. It is enough for all those bad things that's happening to you. And you're wondering why it's happening. Why me, Lord? Why these things can't stop and can't go away? God, I've heard your prayers. God, I've heard your cry. God will deliver you. He is delivering you right now at this very moment. Let me tell you something. Before blessings reach a person the enemy i don't like to call his name d-e-v-i-l e or should i say s-a-t-a-n yes i prefer say jesus christ and to call the enemy's name so the enemy the uh, the the oppressor the serpent would send is evil spirit you know the d-e-v-i-l just to mess with you to mess with god's people he will send them out his evil spirits to do his work to mess with god's people yes god have his servants right so god have angels to do his work and okay Satan have devils to, that he is sending out to do his evil work. So he knows something good is going to happen for God's people. He don't know every single thing, but he knows enough. And he sent out those evil workers to try to discourage you. To try to get you down and try to get you to want to curse God and give up and not trust God and not have faith. So these are the things of what happened to God's people before they get their blessings. Okay. But at the same time, you will be wanting to praise God and pray. And you, you will be singing gospel music that is of a particular um thing like you were singing about trusting god you were singing about open heaven you were singing 
a particular type of gospel songs a lot. You'll be getting gospel songs in your head. You'll be praying a lot. And these are the signs that you will get your breakthrough. A lot of trials, a lot of praying, and a lot of worshiping the Lord God. These are the moments when you know that your breakthrough is coming and will come. So don't give up. Don't give in to the enemy's plans to try to get you discouraged, try to get you to not trust God. Okay, that's his plan to 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 want to cause you to want to cause us God's people to give up before we get our blessings, but don't do it. Don't give up. Your blessing is near. You will get what ever you need want and long for okay because god is not wicked he will hear his people's cry and he have heard it he said it in his words that he will answer god uh is is his people's prayers he will deliver us he will set us free from captive and bondage and remove the yoke of bondage from us he said he heard our cry and he will come to deliver us and set us free and carry you to the land flowing with milk and honey so girl cheer up man be of good courage and people of god be of good strength for the lord is here he's there and everywhere and he answers prayers i know that for sure okay so do not curse God. Do not like have doubt. I know it will come, but remember it's the enemy trying to get you to doubt and fear and be like worried and stressed and all kinds of problems he's trying to put on y'all or us God's people because everyone is in this Tests, okay. He, he does it to every one of God's people. So those who are in oppression right now, he's doing that to you to cause you to not want to believe for your breakthrough. So just shake it off and start believing and have faith that your breakthrough is coming and your breakthrough will come. Okay, you will get that financial break and financial breakthrough. Yes, you will be financially blessed. Just believe it. Believe for your house, believe for your car, believe for your land, believe for everything that you want. Believe for your children's education, their schooling, everything. Believe for it. It will at me, will come from you. Doing the right thing. You're serving God. You're having faith in him. You're living for the Lord. You believe in Christ. You will get you what you want. God is our supplier and our provider. Okay. Yes, he said it. My God shall supply all my need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Say those words, believe it, and know it. And say, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Say those words, believe it, and know it. Okay? Those are his words, and he's true to his words, and he, he always comes through with his words. Okay? His words shall not go back to him void. Okay? Yes, the Lord God's words shall not go back unto him void. What he say, he will do, and he is true to his words. Believe it. Yes. So, those are the words of the Lord God. It's in Exodus chapter 3. You can read it for yourself. Yes, I am asking whomever that is going through these oppression times, and going through all kinds of sad times and stressful times, the wilderness that you are going through. Read Exodus chapter 3. I'm telling you that I had goosebumps when I read that. Like right there just spoke to me like verse 7. When the Lord said he heard his people cry, I'm like, what? God really spoke to me telling me that he heard his people cry and when i hear it i know that hear it again from someone saying it i'm like this is a confirmation i should really talk about it because it looks like god want me to talk about it truly 
Yes, because it's a lot of people, the enemy, causing them to be going through some trying times. I'm talking about trying times. Ooh, like rough times. It's like almost everyone. It's like when we should get our breakthrough, it's like that's when the enemy, the oppressor, saying something to try to ruin it but don't let him ruin it girl don't let him ruin it man believe see me have faith see me okay just praise it off that's what i do i just praise it off okay if, if like and i laugh it off that's what i do i laugh it off and praise it off so that's what you should do because they work wonders i'm telling you instead of stressing why not laugh Instead of worrying, why not praise God? Okay, so, yes. So, don't let anything bad hold you down for too long. Don't let sadness get to you for too long. Nope, because depression is not good and God don't want you to be depressed. That's why God is delivering you from depression in Jesus Christ's name. Yes. Amen. God shall deliver you from depression. No more depression upon you, child of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Whomever going through depression right now, I break it in Jesus Christ's name. It shall not be of you. Yes, it shall not be with you nor return unto you anymore in Jesus Christ's name. Yes. So... These are the words of the Lord. Thanks be to God. That's all I have to say. So cheer up, be of good comfort, be of good strength. God is here and will deliver you. He is delivering you. Okay, he's sending angels to do his work right now. So the enemy can't win, okay? Yeah, the devil is a liar. And the blood of Jesus Christ is against him. And he have already lost in Jesus Christ's name. And you have the victory through Christ Jesus. Yes, I have the victory through Christ Jesus. Amen. So that's what you should say. Okay. And you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And God is your provider and your supplier. Say it like you mean it. Okay. So Jesus Christ love you. Have a blessed day.